returning to full consciousness. Becoming aware of the journey, of the path, of the distance. We can see that at the very bottom is the realm of suffering, the fear, heaviness, darkness, all the hungry desires are at the lowest levels of consciousness. In our day-to-day life, people flow in the river of life. Wherever the river takes, People flow in the river of life, very barely noticing or even knowing that they're flowing. You call it your normal day, your normal life. Very rarely actually stepping out of that river of life. It is the life of materialism, of work, duties of all the ordinary things, the mundane activities that we perform. Most of the time being spent in thought, in the mind, where one thing follows the second, the linear causality, the reactive mind, which is seeing the thoughts, reacting to the thoughts, making the journey in the train of the mind. The higher place of being is awareness of our emotions. They are the frequent visitors that come and go every day, different awareness, different emotions and energies come and go every day and if we spend some time to figure them out, we may come out of that river of life. But most of the time people don't even spend time with their emotions just wanting to do the next thing, to get rid of them, to escape. The river still flows with all the obstacles, all the rocks and stones on the way. A very big transformational point is stepping out of the river onto the shore step behind the mind, to step behind the thoughts, to disidentify from you as thoughts. You are not your thoughts, you are not the knowledge. These are only things that pop into your head and there is no stability no security in thoughts themselves. So the next step becomes the self-observation. To observe not only your thoughts, emotions, to observe yourself from behind as a higher self as the one who is standing on the shore of the river and is seeing the river flowing. Life is happening, but you are observing life happening. You are not the happening. You are not wherever the water flows. So as you step back to observe life happening, 
life starts to reveal its wisdom. To become aware of the river of life is to become the observer in a higher consciousness. Because now we are not subject to the happenings and you stand behind the river seeing the way it flows seeing a bigger picture of where life goes so all the rivers come to the ocean the higher consciousness notices that there is the ocean where everything flows into it this ocean has surface waves and the ocean has many layers of depth so the self-observation is already a deeper consciousness, a deeper intelligence of being. Through the observation, the awareness expands, the seeing expands, more and more light shines onto your being. Through this expansion and creation of space between the river of life and you as the higher self, the tipping point is the inner light awakening. When there is more light within you than the river of life, wherever it goes. The other tipping point is the surrender of all the knowledge to the heart. Surrender of all the wisdom. The deepest wisdom is realization of love. The deepest wisdom is realization of love. And therefore, from the inner light and wisdom, there comes a maturity into the inner love. This love fills your being. It fills your being. It completes your heart. There comes a sense that all there is is love that love has always been here, unnoticed, but it kept everything together. That love is realization of the intricate connectedness of every being, of every heart, of every atom and molecule connecting to create this present moment expands into a sense of oneness, into a sense of completedness, that life is one, that everything is connected, that you were never alone, even in the midst of your loneliness, of your being only by yourself. There has always been life right here, right now, with all the deeper layers which were overlooked. Through all our experiences, we come to seek for something more stable, for something more fundamental than just another experience. We come to seek for something which is permanent, for something which is fulfilling, for something which is fundamental. And that leads towards our beingness. Towards our beingness, towards our presence, towards our soul as the immortal being. 
So we transcend life further and further from the changing phenomena, from the river of life, from the ever-changing experiences, we dive deeper into the beingness, into the core of your self, to discover the source, to discover from where we came from. And that is the discovery of your soul, your beingness, your presence. It is fundamentally always the same, although soul also evolves, but it is the source of your evolution. So the soul comes into many different lives to experience. Coming back to the soul, we attain an immense fulfillment, an immense closeness to the divinity, the immense closeness to God, to the consciousness itself. For the soul is the spark, the spark from God, the spark from consciousness. We come to realize that even the sense of beingness and your awareness of the soul is seen and felt, noticed in the awareness itself. So the next step into the core of your existence becomes of recognition of awareness itself. Following the inquiry into who you are and where you are, you come to realize that you are always in awareness, always in awareness. No matter what you do, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you are always in awareness. So the next step becomes complete disinterest of what you are aware of and complete interest in who is aware of all these changing phenomena. You recognize that you can be aware of millions and trillions of different things but who is the one who is aware? Where is the source? What is fundamental? So you withdraw your interest from what you are aware of. Because all of these are attachments, desires, ignorance, wants, likes and dislikes. You withdraw your interest completely from objects, from energies, from anything that is appearing. And you place your complete interest into where it is appearing. So the content is no longer of interest and the key focus is the context of where all of this is happening. Where am I? And who am I? So awareness placed back to awareness reveals the light of awareness. There is no more subject 
process an object it is only the awareness aware every moment awareness always aware the triple a awareness always aware the double a is for addictions the triple a is complete disidentification from any objects of any processes and coming back to the source in the awareness you recognize there are many perceptions good perceptions bad perceptions right and wrong you withdraw your interest from perceptions as well to remain further deeper in awareness itself if perceptions cause you trouble you let them go no matter what perception a perception is a directed awareness the awareness directs into a certain direction and that is called the perception if there is a light bulb and if you close it and direct it only to a specific point that is the perception but perceptions have many filters as well and the removal of those filters allows you to come back to the light of awareness even deeper even clearer so the primary task becomes to clear the perceptions to clear the lenses to polish the light in the light as the light so that awareness remains clear the strength of awareness allows you to transcend the great void the womb of the universe to transcend any objects any appearances any energies the strength of light of awareness allows you to transcend the darkness the womb of the universe it is that big it is a multi-dimensional journey it is the journey through the universe and out the universe coming through the strength of awareness you come out of the womb of creation of the universe into the divinity of pure love into the divinity and unity of divine love the father mother god of creation you see the father and the mother god they created in love the universe and now through the strength of awareness we come out of the universe to meet the father mother god in the divine love union so that is the realm of divinity of gods and goddesses the celestial divine realm further transcending even withdrawing the interest from all the creations of all the universes you go further back into the light of awareness which further reveals the ultimate truths the ultimate truths of creation the ultimate truth of existence so the actual enlightenment truth reveals itself in its full glory and the final step is to remove all the last bits and pieces even the interest in the truth so that only the fundamental and the absolute consciousness remains itself even awareness is released because that was a bridge of strength 
into the pure consciousness itself. The awareness is the bridge to the pure consciousness itself. It what gives you the awareness is what gives you the strength to disidentify completely from everything and to transcend the universe. And then you let go of that so that the absolute pure consciousness remains. So that is the greatest journey of your existence, the greatest journey of the soul, the journey without a journey, the journey beyond the soul. Because the soul realizes wherever the journey took it, the source was inside the heart of the soul. So the soul stops journeying and comes back to the heart of the soul where God, your consciousness, is revealed as the ultimate infinite creator, as the source of all creations. So this is a beautiful diagram of returning to full consciousness, expanding your awareness back into the self, absolute self, consciousness.